all with a disability. Um, in the 80s, they didn't know what it was, because when, so when I was a kid, I started to walk, but they fall down every single time until we went to uh, NDA, Muscular Dystrophy Association, and through them, went to tear, and they assessed that I have a short term tooth, uh, or CMT. It's not until middle school where I usually, uh, I think seventh grade, where I need to use a manual wheelchair because it was hard for me to walk, to have you know, the mobility. And uh, it, it was less and less and less, so I ended up using the wheelchair for time. I went to college, uh, college educated, but I didn't see a lot of people with disability going to college. Take a risk, take a chance. Volunteer first as well. You know, with volunteering, you, you know, you network, you network, network, network. And then you, through them, you for sure, you'll find employment because they know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody that is looking for, you know, they just kind of know a job and then they just go from there. And of course, I take that experience here at the ACIL and when I talk to my consumers, you know, I give, I give them the chance, I tell them to be uh, independent and also advocate. Late 2013, where um, I was unemployed, still unemployed, and I need to do something to, you know, get my soft skills uh, and, you know, like clerical work, office work, computer work. I spoke to one of the Canadian counselors. Her name was Maria Palacios. And she informed me that, oh, yeah, we need volunteers, but now that this office, there's an opening at the Fort Bend Center for Internet Living. Like, okay, why not? You know, I've never been to Fort Bend, so. And um, so I guess, you know, doing the paperwork, you know, I signed as a volunteer, because they needed somebody bilingual. I was there for about maybe four months, maybe four months. And they say, why not apply for this position? Former di um, director, executive director, she came uh, to the office, and of course, with, my, with the manager, with it for about an hour in the office, I signed about. You know, you'll be a good fit in working with uh, the CBFL family and, uh, you know, and then, yeah, great. And then the following week, I started full time. CBFL, FBCIL, BCCIL has a lot of information resources, most times for free. In my part, people who are disabled and unemployed, but they need medical equipment and they cannot afford it. But you know, what I'm happy about is when the consumers finally receive their services. It's done, it's completed, you know, and I'm glad that they receive those uh, services like, let's say, power wheelchairs or ramp, or grab bars or the bathroom. And I can tell them, you know, um, I'm glad, I'm happy for you. You know, hopefully with this, uh, with, with, the, with the items, the, the services you receive, you're glad that, that, that it will make your life a bit more independent. And it's a, actually my, one of my highlights because I can say, you know, it's, it, you know, because they didn't been looking for those services for a long time, you know, in the beginning, you know, who they were to turn to. And uh, they were just ecstatic and happy about it.